This is a weird place for a village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? Is anyone even here? We don't trust your kind. Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about the sealed Versus. You just like her. Like kindly. Well, this appears to be a glorious waste of time. This must be the Chief's house. Who goes there? Uh, well, we're... Be gone, strangers. Wait, listen to... Enough. Leave this village at once and never return. What a pathetic bunch of rabble. It would appear there are no powerful shades here. The sealed verses would never be found in such a place. Yeah. Let's go talk to Popola and figure out a new plan. Nice flowers. Those are Luna Tears, legendary flowers of almost perfect beauty. You're kidding. Those are the ones I told Yona about. Hands off the flowers. Uh, Vice, why is that lady in her underwear? I fear we have greater issues to deal with. Wait, is she a shade? She's vulnerable between attacks. Strike then! Did we get her? Bye, my very 
pages. The girl wields magic. going on here. something out. Those are those. Are these guys shades too? I didn't know shades could get that big. The scale of this one is like nothing you've encountered before. Ready or guard. This is her sword work. Let's just focus on defeating this thing. are disappearing. Huh? <laughs> Is she human? This one has been possessed by a shade. She exists as neither fully human nor other. I feel bad for treating her like one of those things. We have to help her. You're awake. You. I'm sorry we attacked you. We thought you were a shade. Well, you're half right. Now get the hell out of here. Now see here. We made our apologies and came to your aid. The least you can do is grace us with your name. <laughs> it's okay, Vice. She's probably just exhausted. My name's Kaine. Ah. The name we heard back in the village. Look, nothing good is gonna happen if you stick with me. So do like I said and go. Get lost already, would you? 
Get lost already, would you? Oh, and one more thing. That monster back there? It's mine. Stay the hell away from it. A half-human and a giant shade. Mm -hmm. She's kind of pretty, but she's really intense. Yona? Mm. Yona, what is it? It hurts. Oh, Yona. I'll go get some medicine, okay? Just hang on. Wait. What is it? Just don't do anything dangerous. Stop worrying already. The Black Scrawl appears to be advancing at a furious rate. She needs something to stop her pain. Let's see if Popola has any ideas. Hey, Popola, do you have any pain medicine? Pain medicine? It's for Yona. Her pain is... it's getting really bad. That poor girl. Well, I guess we could try a shaman fish. What's that? It's a fish found near Seafront. Their livers contain a chemical that's said to dull even the strongest pain. That sounds perfect. How do I get there? You can find Seafront out past the Southern Plains. Shades have been spotted there recently, though. So be careful. Damn Shades! Go away! That villager is under attack. Beasts! Would you truly leave him to perish? Save me. Things are getting really bad here lately. Here, take this. Make good use of it, all right? Today, can't let the lighthouse stay dark. I doubt we'll have much luck blundering about blindly for a shaman fish. What should we do? I don't even know what one looks like, so if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Perhaps we could try asking some of the townspeople for advice. Works for me. Heck, we might even find a place that sells them. A shaman fish? I haven't gotten any fish in today yet. Sorry, dear. Eh? Shaman fish? Oh, sure, sure. They're a cinch. Practically jump into the net, they do. But I won't do it for you. So take this pole and go fish one up yourself. Oh, and you can't catch them here at the pier. Go dip your line at the big beach on the west side of town.
We're all set. Let's get this back to Yona. <sighs> I'm so tired. Hold it! Huh? I said hold it! Over here! How can you just ignore an old woman in need? I weep for this generation. The children of this age are nothing but selfish, heartless cads. Uh, are you talking about me? Oh, ignore her. We've a quest to complete. People like that are best left to their own devices. Oh, 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 the pain! What's wrong? Is everything okay? My illness has returned. It must have been the shock of seeing this rude floating book. Rude? Book? Now see here, madam. I'll have you know. You! You did this! Oh, what a terrible thing you are! Why, you insolent crone? How dare you address me like some common paperback? Vice, knock it off. You there! Would you truly abandon a pitiful old woman to this cruel world? Are you asking me? Oh, do please ask me. How can we help you, ma'am? Oh, good heavens! I can't believe how much cajoling that took. Our apologies, ma'am. I am at a loss as to what aid we could possibly give a woman who is so clearly able to talk her way into anything. I need you to go to the post office and tell them to deliver my mail. I can't fathom why they haven't been here yet. Oh, 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 oh the pain! Okay, okay, we're going. Look at us go! Afternoon. Hey, so there's some old lady who yelled at us to come here and check on her mail and... Oh, you mean the lighthouse lady? The very same. Now could you please deliver her parcels and silence her flapping gums? Sorry, but I injured my leg. I won't be delivering anything for a while. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe we can... A hurt leg? What about your sacred postman's oath? Neither wind nor sleet nor terrible monsters of the night shall keep thee from... Hey, if your leg hurts, we'll just deliver it for you. Uh... Oh, that would be a huge help. Uh, just be careful, all right? That lady has a bit of a temper. You don't say. Oh! You know, since you're here... Oh, what is it now? You're from Popola's village, right? Yeah, how do you know? Huh? Well, you're dressed differently and you just have a certain air about you, I guess. Anyway, would you mind taking this letter to Popola when you go back? Sure. Uh, we might as well take the postman's oath ourselves. I don't hear the crone, and I'm sure I would if she were here. They call her the Lighthouse Lady, right? Well, let's go check the Lighthouse. What an absurd waste of time this is. Um... Oh, you. What do you want? We have retrieved your letter. The postman hurt his leg, that's why he... That's no excuse! It's his job to deliver the mail, no matter what! Didn't he take the postman's oath? The thought that anyone would actually bother to write you a letter staggers the imagination. Such a rude book! I'll have you know this is from someone very dear to me. Well, I suppose I should give you something for your trouble. We need to get the shaman fish to Yona.
Everything hurts. Hang in there, okay? I got you some medicine. It's not gonna taste good, but I need you to take it anyway. Don't worry. I can handle it. That's what I like to hear. Morning. Hey, how you feeling? Better. It doesn't hurt anymore. That's great. <sighs> That's really great. Hey, what's that book? Oh, yeah. Guess I should introduce you. I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of Arcane. Oh, hi, Vicey. Now, see here. My name is... Vice has been worried about you, too. Really? Aw, thanks, Vicey. It appears impudence is the fruit of this family tree. Anyway, I need to go talk to Popola. Stay here and get some rest, all right? All right. Hey, I brought a letter for you. Oh, thanks. Oh. oh dear. What's wrong? It's from the mayor of Seafront. He says that a horde of shades have appeared in the area. That's not good. My weapon was practically useless against the giant shade we fought there. I wish there was some way to strengthen my weapon. You know, there's a little shop at the entrance to the junk heap that might be able to help. If you bring them materials, they should be able to use them to enhance your weapons. Interesting. Guess I'll check it out. Oh, but it won't be free, you know. I figure you'll need around a thousand gold or so. A thousand gold? If you need money, try visiting the tavern. That's usually where people go when they're looking to hire someone. Good advice. Thanks. What do you know about this junk heap? I guess there are ancient ruins buried there? It's full of old scrap and other weird stuff that no one understands. To get there, we have to cross the Iron Bridge to the northeast. Popola says these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time in the old world. Humans certainly were wise back then. I don't know. If they were so smart, why did we end up like this? If I ever find myself departing this world. Quit being morbid, Vice. Besides, you can't die. You're made of paper. Hmm. One can always hope, I suppose. Yeah. 